Hello there. This is my first build video for the Baby Belt 3D printer. I have two photographs and a kit of parts. Let's see if I can make them into a printer. This is a bit of a challenge as well as hoping to help other folks build their Baby Belt. The machine is designed and sold by Rob Mink, a longtime contributor to the RepRap cause and a builder of many 3D printers. Currently I'm lurking on this little guy. Please note, this is one of the earliest kits. There might be some changes with your parts. Kits are available from printceps.com if you'd like your own. There's a Discord server to help you build as well. Links uh, down below. The Baby Belt here is a super cute and inexpensive printer. It is the most approachable Infinite Z Belt printer, and I hope that it'll get more folks working on and improving this type of machine. First thing I do with a 3D printer kit is to go over the parts and often transfer them to a more convenient sorting box. This is a nice feature here. The parts are keyed so that it's extra hard to assemble it incorrectly. You can only put it in one way with the electronics facing downwards. The printer is designed to be inexpensive, hence the 28BYJ-48 stepper motors. I've already converted these from unipolar to bipolar, there's a video link if you want to see how that's done. The purple parts are for the cycloidal gearbox, which drives the belt. It's a nice compact gear reduction and a cool mechanism. These blue parts form the X and Y axes, as well as the hot end gantry. You can also see the long lever for the extruder tensioner. The extruder itself is built into the side of the frame. Hot end we have here is a CR10 hot end. This is actually a 12 volt hot end. To ignore the uh, markings on the package, I did measure it. With no heated bed, we're really only printing PLA, so this is a fine choice. It's inexpensive, common. The electronics are the MKS Robin E3. Nice choice that includes modern TMC 2209 steppers on board and sensorless homing this machine relies on. You'll notice there's no end stops. You do need to add a jumper to the board for the X and Y axes for the sensorless homing. I'll forget that later on and also need to convert the stepper motor connectors to 4 pin. The belt is so pretty. There are three layers, a paper base, double-sided tape, and then the beautiful fabric top. I'll of course be evaluating the performance of the belt and the printer itself, but, you know, not until I've built it. The belt rollers are one inch conduit clamped onto a 5 16 inch shaft. The shaft is driven by the output of the cycloidal gearbox. See, there's a hex nut in there that's clamped on. The X and Y axes run on these 3mm shafts using PTF tubing as their bearings. Bushings, I guess? Not sure the best lubricant to use with that. Probably going to try something like a dry uh, silicone or dry Teflon lubricant. 
Baby belt uses GT2 belts for motion, one big length, so we'll cut that for the X and Y axes. For fasteners, the Baby belt uses a lot of zip ties. I'm going to go ahead and swap mine for something that are more colorful. Make sure the color matches. The rollers run on 5 16 inch shafts, so it's basically 8 millimeters. However, if you do switch to 8 millimeter, you're going to need to have a different cycloidal output so that the um, nut size matches. They are very close, but it's 12 and a half millimeter versus 13 millimeter but you really do want a good connection there. The extruder on the baby belt here is a single gear drive with a Mark 8 drive gear and a 608 bearing. Uh, that's actually a Mark 7 gear in the picture, but I realized and corrected it later. The rollers are riding on 608 bearings too. Remember 5 16 is like 1% smaller than 8mm, so that works fine. All the nuts are lock nuts. I think this is a recent change. They don't quite fit the frame perfectly. They do work of course, but a bit of a pain to get this assembled, the actual rollers themselves. You'll see that next video. Screw wise, all of the screws are M3, either 10 or 20 millimeters long. There's 15 of each included. That actually takes a lot of design effort. Not to use custom sized screws, not to use the exact length that fits. Design around making your bill of materials easier. Well done on that, Rob. That is it for parts. I'll get right on building in the next video. These will be coming out as soon as I can make them for my Patreons and the folks over on the Baby Belt Discord. At the end of this whole thing, I'll post up a review overview of the machine. I'm excited about this printer as a way to get more folks interested in building belt printers and part ejection in general. If that's something that interests you, please check out my videos on turning your Prusa Mini into a part ejector. If you're able to support the channel, I do have a Patreon at patreon.com printshift. Your support helps me build more part ejection faster. Plus, supporters will get the videos early, access to the PrintShift exclusive Discord to get personalized help with building your part ejection 3D printing. If you'd like to follow along building the baby belt, again, it's available at printceps.com. I'll throw the link down below, up on screen. Printer is designed by Rob Mink. I really think this is a nice project to support in order to get more people into 3D printing. Thanks for watching and happy printing.